my name is Andreas Stolz. I'm working at the Medical University Center Hamburg at the first medical department. And in collaboration with our colleagues from the University Hospital Cologne, we did a study entitled Risk Factors Associated with Bleeding After Prophylactic Endoscopic Partial Ligation in Cirrhosis. So what was our motivation to do this study? Well, first, risk factors for bleeding, especially in stable cirrhosis patients undergoing prophylactic endoscopic or racial ligation are poorly understood. And nonetheless, patients with cirrhosis tend to receive blood and coagulation products prior to invasive procedures, often without good evidence. And several studies have shown that coagulation parameters are only a poor predictor of uh, bleeding complications in these patients. So we ask ourselves what are really the risk factors that predispose these patients to bleedings after elective uh, invasive procedures. So uh, to evaluate this question we performed a study in two large medical centers in Germany, Hamburg and Cologne, and uh, we included 787 procedures performed in 444 patients. So what are the main findings of our study? First, Prophylactic endoscopic virtual ligation appears to be pretty safe. We observed bleeding complications in approximately 5% of the procedures. Our second main finding was that bilirubin levels and virtual size were associated with bleeding complications after endoscopic virtual ligation in cirrhosis. However, we did not observe an association between coagulation parameters and bleedings in the multivariate analysis. Moreover, in a predefined subgroup of patients with hepatic coagulopathy, we did not observe a difference uh, in the bleeding incidence between patients with and without transfusion of blood and coagulation products prior to the procedure. We think our study is important because it challenges two major concepts. First, the concept that Bleeding risk in cirrhosis patients is mainly determined by coagulation parameters or the arrangement of coagulation. And second, the concept that substitution of blood or coagulation products may protect cirrhosis patients from bleeding. Both assumptions are not supported by our data. And based on this data, we think that prospective studies are needed to evaluate the benefits and risks of these prophylactic transfusion policies that are commonly applied to patients with cirrhosis. In conclusion, our study suggests that bilirubin levels and virtual size, but not coagulation parameters, are the main determinants of bleeding risk in cirrhosis patients undergoing prophylactic endoscopic virtual ligation. Moreover, transfusion of blood and coagulation products did not affect bleeding risk in our high-risk cirrhosis group. Therefore, Prospective studies evaluating the current transfusion policies in patients with cirrhosis are urgently required. Thank you very much.